crisis, disaster, economic chaos. The world seems about to end. The markets are convulsing, the banks are tumbling. The entire island is about to become some sort of black hole off the coast of Europe. Never fear though, we've got a brilliant political establishment to shepherd us through the economic wilderness. And in the budget, on Tuesday the 14th, they revealed their master plan, carefully crafted, as Mary Hannafin said, to protect the vulnerable. Unfortunately, it seems like they've got a different understanding of who exactly the vulnerable in Irish society are. It's not the poorest workers who'll get hit the hardest with 1% levy. It's not all of us who can't afford private health care. And it's not the chronically undereducated sectors of society who are facing the loss of child benefit, class size increases, etc. No, the vulnerable are those like the banks, whose deposits and stability have been guaranteed by our tax money and the builders who, thanks to the former PD, TD and now Head of Construction Industry Federation, Tom Parlin, don't need to worry about the limits on their profits from fixed price contracts. In fact, maybe the vulnerable means the friends and cronies of Fianna, the Fianna failers, or Fianna fallers, those who have access to the decision makers and who can put a bit of pressure on to make sure things turn out all right. In may, it may not have been the bankers and builders who gained most from the economic boom, but that sure doesn't mean they're willing to help pay for the bust. No, if the cuts are to be made, they'll be made where it won't harm the government or their friends. Increased taxes, a tax on the already underfunctioning health service, and further wealth based segregation of education. It's in this context that this latest round of education cuts comes. The government's slashing of teaching posts for children for whom English is not their first language, their decision to increase class sizes and their attacks on substitute cover will have a hugely negative impact on the quality of education that can be provided in our schools and on the working conditions of teachers. This must also be looked at in relation to the re-emergence of the fees for third level education with the doubling of registration fees as just the start. If you add this to the halving and eventual cut in child benefit for 18 year olds it's pretty clear that the people who will be hurt by this are the ones who are already struggling to get their kids to college. As for students they're going to be forced to take out big loans, work shitty jobs if they can find them to keep their heads above water and finally emerge out of college into an economic wasteland. The reason that students, teachers and all the others getting shafted in the budget are being told to take the fallout of the recession is that the government think they can safely push us around. The retreat on the over 70s medical card shows that we don't have to accept this sort of treatment lying down and that we can start to set the agenda. That's not going to happen with a few demonstrations and speeches. We'll need to develop our own power in massive self-organisation from the grassroots level and in our willingness to take the fight to the government. We need to build a national campaign that can fight the battle to prevent cuts at all levels of education, to demand more, not less, investment in our children's future, to stop the further limitation to access to third level and ultimately to push to improve the entire education system from preschool upwards. This will require lots of work and means that links will need to be built between students, parents, teachers and other education staff at all levels. Third level student, students have begun the process of building an open campaign which will fight for the equal access to education. The Free Education for Everyone campaign is organising across all colleges. If you want to join the fight for equal access to education, get in touch with Free Education for Everyone. Uh, open group fighting for equal access to education and you can contact them by going to stopfees at gmail.com or you can send an email to stopfees at gmail.com. This leaflet is being distributed by anarchists who study or work across the education sector. We're working together to build a democratic and open campaign that can challenge the imposition of fees and push to improve access to and quality of education. We want a society where access to wealth and power is equally distributed and we start by pushing for improvements in our everyday lives. If you want to find out more about anarchism or just work with us in the fight against education cuts, check out our website at wsm.ie.
the video you've been watching was recorded 29th of October 2008 at an Irish National Teachers Organisation rally against government cutbacks in education. These cutbacks included a plan to increase uh, class sizes. The text you heard was the text of a leaflet distributed at this demonstration by the Workers' Solidarity Movement. This leaflet was also demonstrated at a third level student demonstration the previous week. You'll find out more about the Workers' Solidarity Movement at www.wsm.ie. The website includes additional audio and video material as well as a lot of articles on other subjects. There's an archive on education Look at the bus. <laughs> 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 <laughs>